guys, so for today I have for you guys an art style challenge video. Um, for those of you guys who don't know what the style challenge is, essentially what you do is you draw your style and then you take whatever shows or artists that inspire you and then you draw those styles as well. Um, and this is my first time doing the art style challenge. I chose 10 styles, including doing my own style, so a total of 9 different styles and then my own. Um, I chose them before I started drawing, um, and I thought this would add an extra layer of challenge because I wasn't going to change the ones, the styles that I had chosen just to see how hard it would be for me to draw the different styles. So right now I'm showing you just my own style, and this is just a character I came up with. I really like how she turned out, I think she looks very elegant, and she reminds me of Asami from Legend of Korra. A little bit. That was completely unintentional. I find with my own style, I like to do very uh, sharp eyes a lot of the time, and um, I definitely, compared to the other styles that I'm drawing today, <laughs> it bothered me so much to not color the line art. Like, I'm so used to coloring the line art in other styles, I didn't want to like incorporate my own style too much, like, obviously you're drawing it since you're drawing it and not the original artist, your own style kind of unconsciously gets incorporated into whatever style you're drawing, I think, like, so it's never, like, 100% accurate, and that's why I think it's the cool part of the style challenge is you can still see, like, that artist's personality peek through amongst the styles, the other styles that you're drawing. So even if you see a bunch of style, art style challenge videos um, of potentially the same same style, like for example, Adventure Time, then you can still see like differences amongst them because everyone has their own style inherently. Um, but yeah, a lot of the styles that I chose didn't have colored line work and it's just, it made me so grumpy but as you can see here I like I found that I really like painting on top of the line work for the hair I think it makes it a little more realistic I'm still obviously trying to find my style though I think everyone it takes them a while to find something that they truly like and obviously we're always improving on how to make our style better. And that's the end for my style, so now we're on to Adventure Time. Adventure Time, <laughs> definitely, I loved how simple the art style was. And it's definitely one of my favorite shows. Um, I love their noodle arms. It's just like, oh, it makes me want to eat pasta every time I see them. Um, but I think my favorite show of Adventure Time is the one where they talk about um, multiple dimensions. I think that one's really fun. Um, my sister, in one of her engineering classes, they actually showed that episode in her engineering class. Um, which I find very amusing, but, um, yeah, Adventure Time has a very simple style, and yet it's so effective, and, um, sometimes the simplest styles, I feel like, are the, the hardest to do justice. Um, but I like how, how my character turned out. Um, I looked, for reference, I looked at Fiona, and I looked at Marceline. Um, I really like what they did with the, the gender bend version of Adventure Time because Fiona has such a different personality than Finn, I feel like. 
And now we're on to Gravity Falls! Uh, Gravity Falls is... Oh, it's such a genius show. They did so good with it. Um, I just like everything about that show. Obviously, you can see I got reference from Mabel here. Um, I feel like I did so bad on this one, on how it turns out at the end. I just... Oh, I didn't realize how hard this style would be. The characters are rather simple, but... Just like, I had such a hard time and I don't know why. Like, hmm. Like, with the, the eyes especially, it's very hard to get them not cross-eyed, I feel like. Like, oh, I just had the toughest time. And since I used Mabel for a reference, I feel like my character doesn't really look like a grown woman very much. It's like an awkward mesh between an adult and a kid, so that bothers me a bit. But yeah, I'm just really sad how this one turned out. I think obviously you can tell the style I was going for, but I don't think I did it justice. And now we're moving on to Digimon. Um, for this one, I chose Digimon Try and not the older versions because um, I really like the fluidity of the animation in the, the Digimon Adventure Try. And the art style was unlike the other ones, and so I really wanted to try drawing that art style. Uh, as a kid, Digimon was definitely one of my favorite shows. I think, personally, that the Digimon shows are better than the Pokemon shows, but the Pokemon games definitely beat the, the Digimon games. But I just really like how this one came out. Like, with the, the art style of Digimon Adventure Try, um, there's not much shading at all, shading or highlights. It is very, very simple, and they don't do the giant anime eyes, and yet it just looks so crisp and so clean, and I really admire just their artwork. It is so pretty to me and very simple. Um, I really like how it turned out, and when I was drawing this one, I just realized how how much I'd like to incorporate this into stuff I do because um, while I do the work I do, I don't really do multiple profiles of characters I draw. I don't draw characters over and over again typically. Um, so I think for if I were ever to do a comic or something like that, I would definitely need to look at Digimon's art style. Because um, it allows a very timeless look while also um, allowing you to draw it over and over again without it being too complicated. Like, it didn't take me very long to draw this in comparison to my own art style, so I liked the effectiveness of drawing this. And one thing I... Uh, took away from this is um, clothing folds. I am very bad at finding um, while drawing how to make the, the appropriate folds in clothing, so um, drawing in this style really helped me find out how like to place those lines effectively and not to overuse um, clothing fold lines. But yeah, if you guys have never tried uh, doing an art style challenge um, for fun, I definitely recommend it to do it in your sketchbook or something. I think you will learn a lot from it. And here I am doing a Total Drama Island. This is a throwback to me. 
I think this is what really made me get into um, drawing every day. Like, uh, this came out when I was in middle school, like sixth grade, so long time ago. But um, I would draw this style every day, and um, it's really what made me draw a lot more and start finding my own style. Um, Initially, I was, I drew exactly like the style in 6th grade, which, like, when you first start drawing, drawing, that's not a bad thing, I don't think, um, because you're learning from what you're doing, you're not claiming the work as your own or anything, um, I just love the Total Drama Show, so I think when you find a show that you like and inspires you to draw, um, you can learn quite a lot from it. So I just uh, cut out some of the, the sketching parts just to make the video a little shorter <laughs> for you guys. Um, but right now I'm drawing the Studio Ghibli style. I got this um, inspiration for drawing my character in this style from uh, when Marnie was there. If you guys haven't seen that moody movie of Studio Ghibli, please check it out now. It is so good. Um, it didn't have the same, like, um, like, fantasy, um, charm that, uh, yeah, Miyazaki does in some of his other films, like Spirited Away and Kiki's Delivery Service, but it definitely had that special quality that you can't get anywhere else other than Studio Ghibli films. Um, and... Studio Ghibli and the Digimon one and the Panty and Stocking one I'm about to do. Um, I think those are the favorite styles that I did in this video. Um, I just really liked um, drawing the styles and what I learned from the styles. Yeah. With Studio Ghibli, this is another one where since they have to animate the characters over and over, they're drawing style is very simple yet it looks so good like um i'm just astounded by how effective they can be with their drawings by doing so little um, but yeah i couldn't resist adding a little shine on her hair and I'm finishing up here, and I think the last thing I did was add a shine to her eyes, which really brought home the, the piece. Was adding the life with the little shines in the eyes. So now I'm doing Panty and Sogging. Oh my goodness, the show. I haven't watched it in forever, but I need to watch it again. Um, the art style of this show is so unique. I I love it so much. I like how they did a more cartoony style, but yet in like the transformation sequences, they had a very um, very strong anime style, and I just liked how they blended that together. Um, and the style is very unique. I'd have to say I like. I like everything they did with the style, the eyes are probably one of my favorite parts. Um, and just some of the coloring they do sometimes. But um, with this, I looked at both uh, panty and stocking for reference. And the hair, I kind of was on my own. I didn't find anything to do curly hair with. But the eyes are um, from panty, and then. Uh, the body posture is also from Panty. The mouth is from Stocking, but, um, <laughs> this was, <laughs> I felt so liberated with this drawing because I got to color the line art, and, uh, it's something that really bugs me if I don't do it in my own drawings, is coloring the line art. Um, I had so much fun with this piece, though, like, um, I just like how angled a lot of the, the lines are for this show. 
Um, so if you haven't seen this show, I would also recommend checking it out. Um, I would say it's for more of a, um, more of a mature audience. Not, it's not like R-rated or anything, but it's definitely for someone with more, <laughs> more, um, maturity. This is from Fisheye Placebo. I did so bad at this. I had to cut out parts. I had written it down originally, so I was going to make myself do Fisheye Placebo. And if you don't know, Yume, the, the artist of Fisheye Placebo, you need to check her out. Um, she is so talented. I tried to... I spent the most time on that that drawing to the left there, and you can just see how terrible it turned out. It looks like a ghost from a horror film. It is so scary to look at. I did not do uh, fisheye placebo justice at all. I was so disappointed because I was working so hard on it, and like it just goes to show you that some people's styles are just very much their own and if you try to incorporate your own it doesn't really work out all the time. I got a lot of inspiration from Fish High Placebo as a kid though um, to get where I am now. But here I am drawing Avatar The Last Airbender. As you can see it kind of looks a lot like um, um Katara but uh, for reference I chose UA for this one but um, they're another one where also they do very simple cell shading. It's a lot similar to the, the Digimon and the Studio Ghibli in terms of cell shading. The real difference between those three is just how you draw the lines and the face shape and the proportions between those. Um, I have to say I like the Digimon and Studio Ghibli the best in terms of how their proportions worked out, but there is my version of Avatar The Last Airbender. And the last one I thought I would do Pokemon because Pokemon is something I definitely grew up with throughout all my childhood and into adulthood. I love the show and I think it is so creative. Um, but yeah. Here I am just coloring it. It was a very quick one. Um, so I hope you guys liked this art style challenge video. Hopefully I didn't ramble too much. Um, if you guys liked this and you would like to see more content from me, then make sure you click on the subscribe button down below or you can find it at the end of this video. Um, I come out with new content every week of art videos and tutorials, so if there's something that you personally want to see, make sure you put it in the comments below. I would love to hear input from you guys on what you guys would like, but thank you guys so much for watching, and if you'd like to uh, check out the previous video, click on the video in the top right corner. Thank you guys so much for watching.